When you're ready to change, st change stitches on your machine, you can go to the home key and select whether you'd like to use guided mode or expert mode. I'm going to continue with guided mode and do a four thread search. You can go up to the stitch selection icon. If you change settings on a stitch, you're welcome to save them to your favorites folder for another day. I'm going to go into overlock setup and we'll just choose a basic four thread overlock. We can go through the same setup steps that we followed when we did set up for our combination stitch to ensure that all the right things are in the right place on the machine as we get going. Step one, we'll be lifting the presser foot. On here, it will show us what we need to change and unthread between steps. There's no guessing at this point. We know right now we'll need, un need to unthread our cover stitch needle our left needle from our overlocker side, as well as our chain stitch looper. I prefer to cut at the spool. And gently with the presser foot up, remove the threads. Needle direction through the machine. As we're able to leave our serger loopers threaded, we don't need to worry about those for now. We're going to continue using presser foot C11 and continue with our presser foot pressure of 4. We're going to move our needles. To change your needles, you may want to open the door. And while we're at it, we'll get that second door open as well. We'll be taking the needle from our left. Nope. We'll be taking the needle from our right cover stitch needle and we'll insert that into the right needle position of the overlocker portion of this needle clamp. Gently loosen the screw and then retighten after you remove the needle. If you struggle to hold needles in place while you tighten and loosen these screws, your needle change tool is going to be your best friend. Loosen the screw Insert the needle all the way. You should be able to see the top of the needle in the window in the needle block. And retighten the screw. These needles are, have flat backs, so they're easy to insert. We're going to continue with our knife activated and our cutting width of six. We already have our knife cover insert installed and our upper looper is in the activated position. And our hook is out of the upper looper converter. Our rolled hem position is set to O for overlocker and our MTC control is set to zero. At this point, we only need to rethread our needles. Green thread guide, green thread guide, and our green is our right needle in this instance. Threading our left needle floss it down through the tension, come across the front of the machine, up over our yellow guide, through the second slot from the right, and then into the slot needle thread guide. That was quick and easy to change. We're ready to get going. Couple hand wheel turns to ensure that everything is moving smoothly. And then get started making a nice chain with your machine.
our first four thread surge was quick and painless.